Hello, this is Professor Rios. Uh, we'll continue with the electrical symbols and electrical plants. Uh, can you turn on the light, please, so we can see better here? Okay. Um, This is clarification, okay? Devices are mounted at the height indicated unless noted otherwise. Devices mounted in block brick walls shall correspond with block brick cursing. See master in the box mounting height detail. All mounting heights indicated are from the finished floor to the center of the box, not to the side or to the top side, to the center of the box. Um, items shown dotted are to be removed. Items shown with the light screen line are existing to remain. On demolition drawings, dash electrical items denotes existing items to be removed. Solid screen electrical items denotes existing items to remain, unless noted otherwise. Okay, and these are symbols that that means demolition okay existing to remain examples and these are to be eliminated if we say that on new work on new work lighting power and system drawing a screen electrical items denotes existing items to remain solid electrical items uh, denotes new items unless not otherwise it note, further equipment note drawing. <clears throat> Power distribution and equipment, that's what we left off the last time. This is a switchboard with concrete pad, floor mounted. Means that it's on the floor, right? Relay connection cabinet, wall mounted. With top six, uh, six feet. What is your relay? Dallas, can you tell me what is a relay? No? Um, I, I will, I'll get to that right now. What is a relay? No, you, I want you to describe with words what, what, what is a relay. I know, let me tell you, I know that you know what it is, but you need to learn how to describe what a relay is. Not quite. What is a relay? You use a relay before. You use it. Okay, so what is a relay? Exactly. How do you describe what I explained to you about a relay? How do you describe that? What, what is it? It's a plane, it's a car. Describe, describe it. I explained what a relay is. Okay. That's true. But you're talking about troubleshooting part of the relay. Um, Lazy, do you know what a, a relay is? The, I'm sorry? It controls current. Right. So it controls current. Okay, that's good. A relay is an electromechanical device where with an electrical current, you can control high current. How is that achieved? You have electromagnet that attracts a piece of metal, that piece of metal opens or closes a contact, Therefore, you achieve opening or closing a circuit, okay? So in other words, a relay is nothing more and nothing else than an 
electromechanical switch. With a mechanical switch, you flip a lever and you close or open a contact, right? So you achieve the same thing with current, current that goes through the coil. That's called, that's what it's called electromechanical because you have a current that produces a mechanical action that opens or closes a switch. Okay? Darlis, it, it, it makes sense? Okay. Meter socket assembly, mount top at 16 inches. So, it's a meter, okay? So, these ones make reference to branch, sequer, circuit, uh, feeder, and raceway. What is a raceway? What is the raceway? Back up. Yeah, I was saying this to you guys. Uh, a raceway is something that holds wire, right? Like a conduit. Now, this drawing here, if you see something like this, means the panel board name. This 2,4 means branch circuits in the panel board and the arrow indicates home run, okay? A dotted line like this indicates conduit router below or in floor structure or below grade or as noted. Now, any line straight means that the wire is hidden in the wall or in the ceiling, okay? So if an electrical drawing you see a line that goes, and it tells you that's an outlet, and this is an outlet, and you see a line. It doesn't mean that you're going to put a wire in the middle of the room. Like if it's a straight line, it means that that wire, that circuit, is hidden in, in the wall or in the ceiling. Okay? Yeah? Makes sense. I know, we, we need to understand what, you know. Um, you will be surprised, okay? I read in the news once that this guy purchased uh, a motorhome, and I guess it came from the future because he said, well, I read in destruction. He had an automatic pilot. So he literally got, got into the, the, uh, the motorhome, you start everything, put it in the automatic pilot, and you sit back. After you crash immediately, you say, well, but this truck is I mean, come on. It's common sense. All right? In that case, autopilot, it will keep, you know, same speed, cruise control, but it means autopilot. So we have to have clear definitions, okay? What, what do you think this is? It's a ground, right? Um, a line like that indicates conduit that is surface mounted. Indicates conduit routed concealed above floor or grade in ceiling or in wall. Okay? In this case, conduit up or conduit down. Conduit Stop. Termination indicated by note. Oh, all of a sudden, this is familiar. A stop. What is a stop up? It's a 90 degree bend upward. A precision stop up is what? A 90 degree up to a certain distance. Let's go back and review this. How do you do a precision stop, a stop up? Darlis. You find the height where you want to the pipe to end, okay? And then what? Let's say you're using right, but let me give you the size of the of the pipe you're using. We're using half an inch pipe. Okay. Uh so you measure the distance from the box to the floor. Why do you start five? 
Exactly, because of the rise of the bend, when you do the bend, the stubble will grow five inches. So you do that. You should start five inches, and by the time you bend it, it will reach to the height that you want to reach. Okay? So that becomes familiar now. Where are we? Conduit, stop. Stop. How do you pronounce that? Stop, right? Stop. Termination indicated by note. Cable tray. What is a cable tray? Cable tray. It's a tray that usually is at a certain height where you run the cables by, right? You run the cables on top of it. No, it's to hold the wires, the cables. What is the meaning of all this? Look, one C comma three pound four. You see something like this? In the case what? One inch conduit. Uh, three, number four, what is AG, AWG? The wire size, right? Conductor, and one, number three, conductor wire. Okay? That's what all that means. So if you see a bunch of numbers like that in the drawing, you know that it means something, you know, related to the wiring. What is this? Surface raceway, assembly. Refer to architectural and electrical plans for mounting height, provided as specified, unless noted otherwise. Okay, surface raceway assembly. Very well. My God, this goes way too far. Wait a minute. This is what am I here? Now, these symbols make reference to lighting. Okay. This is a, a recessed fluorescent light fixture. Okay. What is a fluorescent light? Do we have fluorescent lights here in the room? Do we have fluorescent lights here in the room? Those are fluorescent lights. Oh, that, that's the representation in the diagram. Yeah. So, Tobias, so I'm concerned about your answer. No, no. Well, that's the representation. But in this room, do we have fluorescent lights? Oh, okay. But you said no. Okay. So, you know that these are fluorescent lights, right? You get that? Uh, Kirk, these are fluorescent lights? Are these fluorescent lights? How do you call those type of lights? Those are fluorescent lights. Okay. Fluorescent lights work in the following way. You have a gas enclosed in a glass. Okay. The glass is covered in the inside by an electro electromagnetic elect electronomicent uh, material. That's not a quite word, but anyway. So what happens when the electrical discharge happens inside, that excites some electrons, and when they go back, it gives off that light. That's what it means. So that's called fluorescent, because that's how, that's the property that provides the light in the fluorescent light. Okay? Okay, now you know. How it works. There is gas inside. And if you get caught with that glass, um, that's why it's very dangerous, you know. Uh, those those uh, lamps. If you get caught with that, some people, it's hard for them to heal. Those kind of cause because that material is, is not good for you. Okay? That is what is a fluorescent light. What is it? No, tell me in words. I forgot. Okay, this is a fluorescent light, right? Okay. Now, what does it mean recessed? Recessed. Recessed. Recessed fluorescent light. Are these recessed fluorescent lights? 
Look at the word, recessed. Re recessed. Recessed fluorescent light. What does it mean, recess? Recessed. That is inside, right? Okay. The same as, as that light switch. That's a recess light switch because it's inside the wall. The only thing that sticks out is the lever that you use it to, to, to make it work, right? This is surface mounted fluorescent light, light fixture. What is a surface mount fluorescent light fixture? A light, say that again? Yes, let's say this is cement, right? Mm -hmm. And you have the pipe and everything. If you want to touch a light, it's a surface light. You open some holes to, to attach it to the ceiling, and but the light is outside. Okay? Recess this means that it's inside, and surface mountain is on the surface. Okay? Um, Lights fixture or an emergency circuit? It's a light fixture for, for emergency purposes, like those exit signs and stuff. Light fixture on 27, which is like a night light, okay? It's on all the time. When you see a circle like this, is recessed light fixture. Like, like one of those round lights that are inside the ceiling, that's how you represent that. Imagine. Surface mounted light fixture, a circle with a little circle in the center, is a surface mounted light fixture. This one, fluorescent strip light fixture for suspended mounting height, mounted height, okay? There are fluorescent lights usually in factories and in shops, electrical shops or repair shops, and you see two chains from the ceiling drop down to the light. Exactly. And it's hanging up there, right? So that's what, what is uh, suspended. You know, the, the water should give you a clue what it is. This is wall-mounted light fixtures. World mounted light fixture. What is that? It's a light that is like, for example, okay. But those are emergency lights. By the way, this thing came, went off this morning because they knew some testing. Forget it. And they warn us about the emergency light. They said, Professor, uh, we went to do a test. And, okay, I'm fine. When that thing went off, we all jumped. Oh, wait a minute, it's okay, it's okay, man, but you know, at that moment, you're not thinking about what I thought. Anyways, the wall mounted light, let me show you something. Uh, that's actually to for the for the Roman cable, okay. And this vertical plate here is where you attach your two by four. Attach the light fixture. So if this is the wall, okay. You have a number of woods like this, right? It was so much distance. You attach this like this to the wood, okay? Then you have a sheet door here. You need to open a hole to have access to this. And this is where you have, with these screws, you attach the light, in the, the, the assembly of the light fixture. This is to show you that a box 
that holds a light fixture must be held in place. It's not happening in the chair by itself. It has to be attached to something because the, the light fixture can, can wait. Okay? And the chair doesn't hold much weight. Anything that holds a whole weight needs to be held someplace. Is that clear? So with something like this, you would do a what? What are we here? A wall-mounted light fixture, okay? That could be in the ceiling or on the wall. You see the drawer, the symbol on the left is for the wall, and this one is for the for the ceiling. Okay. What is the next? The next one is linear pendant light lighting fixtures for suspended mountain heights, sea drones. Okay. Let me tell you, there are hundreds of these symbols. You don't need to learn this by memory. You just need to understand at least the wording. Because you understand the wording, then you know, okay, that's what it is. Okay. What is this one here? Circular pendant light feature for suspending mount mountain heights. Do you remember a place where you have seen circular pendant light feature? Circular pendant light features. You do, right? Usually in the living rooms and stuff like that. A light that is pending on the ceiling. Okay. Right, it has a little to direct the light downward. And it's round. Circular pendant light fixtures. Usually you see in the restaurant also. And yeah. But it's pending on the ceiling, right? Yeah. So what is this? Track lighting fixtures, length and mount as, no, as noted on drawing. What is a track lighting fixture? We saw that in the last. Remember track? When we cover wires and conductors, there was a track for light fixtures. Is a track, okay, that the wires are inside, and the light fixture itself, it has like two or three pins. When you attach it there, the, the pin um, goes across the isolation and makes electrical contact with the wire inside. So if you have a track from here to there, you can attach any light at any distance without doing any wire because the wire is already inside. We saw that in one of the, in the lesson of uh, wires and, and conduits, okay? Okay. A track, okay, it's a track. What is a track? Something that goes, you know, from point A to point B. But this track inside has the wires, okay? And it has a special assembly that accepts a feature that is designed for this track. It's a track, it's, it's a track for lighting, for lighting. Yes, let me, let me go back to the lesson and I'll show you what the, what it is. Okay, huh? Okay, so you're looking at it. Let, let's get to, um, that's right here in vital source, vital source. I downloaded the book because what book is that? Electrical one. Okay. And that was module 
um, conductors and cables, okay, motor nine, in conductors and cables, we're going to see what that track is. Let me see if I can see here. If it's something, it says something about track. Type of cables. Instrumentation. Conduit, conductors and conduit systems. Control wiring. Um, anyways, let's let, let's just go page by page and we'll run into it. Move it back here. Let's see. Aluminum typical cable fixture fixture wire. We're gonna see sooner or later. Okay, this is the lesson about color coding. This one, channel wire assembly. This is a track, okay? This is a track, but this, the track is the top side. This, this is the side view of the track, okay? What you're looking at here is the side view of the track, okay? But that thing goes into the page and it's something, it can be as long as you want, like from side to side, all right? So, you see that? So when you apply, and this is a light fixture down here. This is a four conductor channel wire that is inside the track. You see this conductor here that is flat is inside here. So when I place this assembly of the light fixtures in there, these pins, you see those two pins there? It will go across the insulation of the material and it will make contact with the wire. You see these two pins here? Right. It's having two pins. So when you play this like this, this pin is going to make contact with the channel to where it connects the human wire plug and where it connects to the pipe. So that is that's how you make contact the light picture from the track. And then here, you go to the camera and you put the light right there. Okay? So that's for a track. Another way to name this is the cable support channel. Um, I'll do the thing as soon as I'm done here. Yes, it's there. there. Um, so as I was saying before, this is the track here, okay? You see that U channel? is what you place in the ceiling and when you attach the lower the lower component, then you have access to the wire that is in the ceiling. Okay? You don't need to run wire, the wires are already there. Okay? Now, look at this one here. So you attach it there, you have access to the wiring and it's a picture hanger. Okay, this is the installation end cap. So at the ends, you place the thing so you don't have access to the, to the conduit. So now you know what a channel, let, let's read this. Channel wire assembly type FC comprises an entire wiring system, which includes the cable, cable support, splicers, circuit tabs, fixture hangers, and fitting, so everything is in one in one place, okay? Guidelines for the use of this system is given in the National Electrical Code, Article 322. Type PC cable is a flat cable assembly 
with three or four parallel number 10 special standard copper conductor. The assembly is installed in a, an approved U channel surface metal raceway with one side open. Okay? Tap devices can be inserted anywhere along the run. Anywhere along the run. Because the wires are already there. Anywhere along the run, I can place those, um, those, those uh, lights. So the tap, tap devices can be inserted anywhere along the run. Connection from the tap devices to the flat cable assembly are made by pin type contact. Okay? When the tap devices are fastened in place. So when they are fastened in place, again, the pin goes across the isolating part of the wire and makes con electrical contact inside. The pin type contacts penetrate the insulation wall, that's exactly what I said, of the cable assembly and contact the multi stranded conductors in a matched phase sequence. These tabs can then be wired to lighting fixtures or power outlets. Okay? So it's not only for light, it's also for power outlets. This is used a lot in stores where you may need a power outlet here or power, uh, you know, outlet, uh, you know, farther up or farther down to connect things, displays and stuff. So you have that and you have the outlet at the point where you need it. You don't have wires all over the place. You have one of those in your house? Tell me about it. Where is it? No, it's, it's not an extension cord. The thing is, along this channel, you can connect anything at any distance. Okay. Again, this is the channel, the U channel. That's the flat wire inside. That channel can run from here to there all the way. From here to there, right? And at any distance from the side, I can just plug in this fixture and have access to the current that is inside the channel. Because the pins penetrate the wires and make electrical contact inside. Okay, you don't, you don't see it. Let's see if I can find a picture in 3D, hold on. Wire channel assemblies, okay? Hold on a second, I'm sure we'll find something. Wire channel assembly. Wire, not writing. Wire channel. Um, wire channel assembly. Actually, let me find a video so you see how people use it, okay? Look at this. Commercial electric in wall core. Okay, let's see what this one is. No, I want to see a video. Hold on. A video. Um, core mate. What about this one? Oh no, this is just to cover the wires. Wire channel assembly. Word channel assembly for 
light fixtures. Light fixture, no. That's not that hard. Wire ceiling, no, that's something else. How can we find that? Let me see another name. Wire channel assemblies. Channel wire. Let's find this. Let's try to find it on the channel wire. Really? Right. So, what, what is what you said you should look for? Cable raceway. But this doesn't involve that you have an electrical connection inside. See what I mean? This is to manage the, the wiring. Um, what other name they have for this? Work on doctor wire channel. Let me, let me see that one. For conductor wire channel. For conductor. For the conductor wire channel. For conductor war channel. This is part of the electrician um wagger connection. No. No. Any clues about PC cable, channel wire assembly. This is on page uh, 11 of Model 9. So this is actually channel wire assembly type. So what about this one? This is the technical name, okay? If we find it, it's a good example that we need to use a technical name, not what we think, you know. Where? What? In carpet wiring, multimodal fiber. Oh, zero U fiber. No, that's a, that's a U fiber. How do you fiber out the connector? No, this is incredible. So we want to buy this. What do we buy this? Type PC cable. Let's see. Type PC cable. Type. Jesus. Type PC cable. Type PC. No, it's not even there. USB. No. 
Me darán así, ¿no? We're looking for. Me darán no está durmiendo. Um, okay, I'm going to ask Google, okay? Sometimes you ask Google. A natural, a natural, okay. Um, FC, I know. Um, my, uh, of channel wire for stores. Channel wires. Channel wires with the electrical connection. Okay. With electrical connection. Electrical for a store. They usually use it for light fixtures in the stores. No, it's not understanding what I want. No. Right, raceway. But it has a name. Let's see, electrical, electrical fixture for a store. That should that should give me, give me the electrical fixtures for a stores. Guys, I believe. Electrical fixtures for stores. Installing, it was a channel. What was the name of that? A channel? In a channel. That's it. This one here, is that it? Is that the one? Which one? Up, that one? This one? On a channel, yes. But I'm not sure if this is the... No, 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 no. Well, that, that, that can be plugged at any distance. Is that this one here? Yeah. Okay. No, but. Exactly, but I want it. I want to find. What time is it? Nine fifteen. Nine fifteen. Electrical light feature for stores. This is not it. This is not it. This is it. Look, you see this outlet? This is exactly what it is. This is a raceway. 
okay? This is, this is long, so it's called hollow track. You run this from point A to point B. So anywhere you plug that thing in, you have access to an outlet. You see what it is? This outlet have access to the power inside the track anywhere along that rail. It, no, if you take that off, it has nothing in it. But you will see the pins and everything that actually makes contact with the word inside. Okay? Exactly. But in the other case, it could be used with a light. So in the storage, you can put light anywhere. Exactly. Okay? So this is called hollow track. My goodness. Hollow track. Okay, here's more detail about this. See? Description. Our adapter fits into one of two circuit tracks for convenience. Line voltage, three prong uh, outlet. Okay? Here are the different models. You see? This is the light. This is the light. This is an adapter. It's the not a light. Okay. Um, the track is this thing in the top. Okay. And when you attach to it, you see this this little this this tab that it has there, it goes into the hole. And the pins are there. That actually makes electrical connected with that. So you can do something very fancy, okay? Let's say these are, uh, for example, pictures. So you run one of these, and whenever you 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 place the pictures, you put a light in as a picture, right the picture. You put the picture a little bit down, you move the light down. Exactly. You probably have seen those in galleries, right? Now you know what we're talking about. Look, look at the specs. You see the track? Okay, two circuits, one circuit. Polarity growth, okay, groove. Exactly. Well, in the, in the case of our book, it was in the bottom. This is on the side. And what happened? Not something, that special picture that fits there. Okay? You see what it tells you? Polarity group? That's inside is where it makes contact with the wire. And it comes in different sizes. Look, two feet, four feet, eight and twelve feet. That's pretty long. Twelve feet is from here to where? Almost. Not quite, but less than that. But it's pretty long. So anywhere along that, Look, and this is a low profile, a sure aluminum track with 20 amp. It is as important to know about the theory as to know what it is what they're talking about. Okay? Because you do you know you want to you want to do electron installation and you tell you to use this this track. What are you talking about? If you don't know about this, so you oh okay, I know that, that I know what they're talking about. It's a gallery, they want me to put a track here so they can put the light whenever they want, right? So as an electrician, their job will be to install that track, okay, at the distance that they want, and they will place the light whenever they want, you know, according to the, to the pictures, right? So let, let, let's look at the specs of this. This is a 20 amp rated flat, okay? So what does it mean? That whatever you plug in there, it needs to consume less than 20 amps. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you will burn the thing or, you know. Okay. It's not approved for use with remote transformer, low voltage fixtures, 
that require a transformer uh, for each feature. Uh, this can be purchased separately, blah, blah, blah. Uh, More details. So the power rating is 2,400 watts. Now you know what another track is, okay? Now, this was the, the long part, right? Now, you have a number of different things. Like when you connect this to the end, that's how you actually power this unit. You plug this to the end of that track, and then you actually plug it into the ceiling, for the case of the ceiling. So, You see how beautiful it is to know about this? Because you see in, in the in the plans, they say you know what it is. But in real life, you know what it is, and you know, there is no way you can implement this. So let's learn, let's learn some more about this. This is how you actually power that track. Uh, and this is how you end the unit. Because remember, when it's cut, you have like wires there. This is how you end the unit. So there, there you know, there are no electrical contacts. Um, what else do they have here? What is this? A T-bar feed. So that means that you can connect more than one track. So you can connect one this way, 190 degrees, okay? So that's what that should be, a T-bar. What else? This is to, with the current limiter. What else do they have? End cap. To turn 90 degrees. Actually, with this add-on, you can flex it any amount of degrees up to 90 degrees. That's what I'm telling you there, okay? This one is, for example, remember the, the pipe coupling? This is a coupling for another track. So one ends here, you attach another one, you use this, and you continue. Because this makes contact in both of them, okay? So it keeps going. You can make it as long as you want. This is a 90 degree. Let's say it ends there, and you want to continue this way. Actually, you can make a complete turn around the room, okay, with four of these. You see that so this one is to, to do um, in, in four directions. You see how important it is to see what you have out there in real life as compared to what use the books, what the book tells you. They try. We already covered it, but it wasn't clear, right? Until you saw this. That's why this is important. Now, Nora is a brand, but when you say Nora track, it's made reference to that. Like, like when you call, um, you name the glue crazy glue, you know what that is. But that's actually the name of the brand. Exactly the same thing happened with this. Okay. So with an order track, you can do, you know, many things. Look at this one, a flexible extension. You see this snaps into the track itself. What are these? Integral transformer. Um, these are accessories for a light. Uh, if you want, to have the light aiming at a specific picture, okay? What are these? Black cover, something for the light, beam concentrator, and you know, a number of different things. You get that? Isn't that amazing? Look how much you learn out of what is it? Track light fixture. If we don't look for it, track light fixture, what the heck is this guy's talking about? 
So if you are given a plan like this, and they tell you, it's totally try life fiction, how are you going to even quote it if you don't even know what it is? Right? And look, this looks like a track. Look at the symbol, it makes a lot of sense. It's a line with three things connected to it, but it means that you can actually move it back and forth. Exit light phase, shown shaded. Plan indicates ceiling or wall mounted and directional arrows. What is this? Emerge, emergency light unit. Emergency light unit. I could do something like that as an emergency light unit. Four mounted side lighting fixture. Single square head, number have shown. I like that. So if we do this with every symbol we find, then we get a good grasp of what is expected from us. But if we go like, oh, life switch, uh, okay. Because we all play with, the, we all play with the, what is it called, with the really. But it was not easy, I mean, it was not straightforward. How do you describe what it really is? Okay. So what is this here? Light control. Single pole light switch with lighted pilot light. Single pole light switch. Three way light switch. Four way light switch. Occupancy sensor switch. What is that? When you walk in there, the light turns on, right? Occupancy sensor switch. Momentary contact light switch in that panel. You use the lower switch, but the ones in the top is a momentary contact switch. If you press, makes contact. Once you release the pressure, it's no longer making contact, okay? That's a momentary light switch. Dimmer light switch, what is that? Dimmer the light, right? No. Exactly. It's a switch, but it's also a dimmer. Okay? I know. Time switch, what is that? Where, where pla which place can you think right away of a time switch? You see it in more places than you can imagine. Well, maybe not here, but in Spain, in the buildings, you turn on the light for, you know, for the hall, where the elevator is and all that. After a few minutes, the light turns out, turns off. So you have to press it again and we'll stay on for a minute or two. But here, I don't see that here. Here, the light's on all the time, period. Okay, that's better. I like that better. Photo cell, wall, ceiling, or roof mounted. What is a photo cell? A photo cell. A photo cell is an electronic device that responds to the light level. For example, when the light goes below a certain threshold, it will turn on a floodlight, for example. Okay, that's what it is. Occupancy detector. This is similar to the occupancy detector switch. Okay. Okay. We'll continue in the next class with power and motor devices. Thank you. What time is it? Nine thirty. Are you leaving too? Okay, I'm gonna work with you right now, um, Lazy. With you know what, what what you're missing, okay? So and this is the actual end of the of this class. Thank you. Good night. Drive safely.